It's a bit odd that the Samsung's foldable line now has slightly better CPUs than its S22 flagship line. But such is the world of silicon and smartphone timing. We are happy that the Galaxy Z Fold 4 has the Qualcomm top of the line Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1 CPU as it needs all the power it can get given the multitasking gymnastics it's capable of. Geekbench 5 benchmarks bear out the new CPU's somewhat snappier performance compared to the 8th generation one. It's not a huge difference but it feels to us that the phone's ability to edit 8K 60fps video at once in Adobe Premiere Rush speaks to that struck it and it doesn't hurt that the Samsung has backed up the chip with 12GB of RAM. The raw numbers still don't beat Apple's F15 Bionic but that's immaterial. There's more than enough power on tap here for all your cover and main screen tests. Samsung does an excellent job of integrating its key one UI feature and apps into full experience while still keeping this out of the way of the stock Android Google apps you really want but we are particularly impressed with the effortless hand off between the cover screen and the main flexible display. The phone swaps screens instantly so you can move the same app between the main and cover displays without waiting for it to reload. It can work like a normal phone with the cover screen, a tablet with the main screen or something in between if you fold the screen to a 90 degree angle. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 knows if it's bent at a 90 degree angle and if you are in an app like word puts the split keyboard on the bottom half of the display. It's not a perfect experience since the tapping in the crease is best avoided but it works. It's not like it's not unlike using a very small Android laptop. The app dock not only lets you drag and drop apps and keep ones you use often in the dock but it can remember app groups and let you instantly access and reopen them with a tap. Very smart. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 supports Samsung's S Pen but not just an any S Pen. When we tested the S22 Ultra S Pen and tapped it on the screen, the Z Fold 4 recognized it instantly. But then popped up a rather scary message that said you can only use S Pen specifically designed for the Z Fold screen. We did not have one of those lying around to test with. We spent a very busy day with Galaxy Z Fold 4 doing everything from video conference calls to word processing, playing games, editing video, watching Netflix shows and sometimes doing all of these things at once. We also watched as the battery life drained perhaps a little faster than expected. At 4400mAh this isn't a tiny battery but it does have to do the work of powering two screens though not simultaneously. The battery lasted approximately 13 hours which is pretty good though we would have liked to have seen more, still getting that far is probably a testament to the 8 plus generation 1's power management capabilities. The phone supports fast wired and wireless charging and at one point we added back 30% of power in just 15 minutes using a Samsung 65 watt grand charger which is not included. The phone can also perform wireless power sharing duties, however I could only get that to work with the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro case and not with the Galaxy S22. Let's not forget that this is a 5G phone, our model was running on T-Mobile's network in the US which has the pretty good 5G coverage but the speed was as you would expect all over the map. Still it was good enough to stream HD quality Netflix on my train ride home. That's all for today, thank you for watching, if you like the video feel free to share it with your friends and keep watching Best Buy to get your top notch day to day commodities.